Welcome to episode 1341 of the Multifamily Collective. Today, I wanted to talk about no replacement. And what I mean by that is there really is no replacement for growing up in an organization and learning an industry from the ground up. In the multifamily industry, that literally means from groundskeeping or porter type work through to regional manager, VP, et cetera, et cetera. Every position in the organization, in the property management world, is of value to you. When you get into roles of, of leadership and higher levels of responsibility, understanding a business from the baseline, things uh, as, let's say, as simple as walking around every building every day to make sure that there is no trash, not only in front of the building, but behind the building. Understanding that a gutter may have a little sensor on it, which is there for uh, irrigation systems, right? They usually attach these things together so that when it rains outside, that sensor shuts the irrigation system down so you're not watering grass when it's raining outside. Understanding what that is is important. Every little thing that happens on a property on a daily basis or exist on a property on a daily basis or has some level of impact either in a consumer experience or a team member experience or in a financial outcome is important. If you don't grow up in the business, you don't necessarily see all these things. You, you don't see all these things. You don't understand how they impact the bottom line, how they impact the customer experience or the team member experience. So you, you sometimes come out of school you move yourself into a nice corporate position. Um, I've seen this with the asset managers a lot. They don't understand the business from the ground up. So they start making decisions or putting out mandates for things that don't necessarily work. And it's not because they don't know uh, that it that it's or that it's not because it's not a good idea or a potentially profitable idea, it's just that you don't understand or you've not seen or you've not had the experience of executing ideas at the ground level. So my encouragement to anybody that is coming out of school, university or otherwise, when you go to work in the multifamily industry, start from the ground up. Even if you take a position with a title that is, in my example, asset management, Go out and spend two weeks in the porter position, two weeks in the maintenance technician position, and not, not just shadowing, like actually doing the work. Spend some time in the multi or, or the uh, supervisor position, the leasing consultant position, actually sell an apartment. Understand what it is like to sell an apartment. And spend some time, if you still have assistant manager role in your organization, spend some time in that role. Spend some time in the property manager seat, making decisions. Understand the decisions that property manager, manager is faced with on a daily basis as it relates to the consumer or team members. Actually spend time in all of those positions. Spend time in the role of the regional manager. Spend real time there. My sense is that 90 days minimum spent in those positions will give you a firm foundation for running an asset, for understanding what it takes to run an asset. Many times I, in my career, I've worked with, right, asset managers that, that are just, they're great people, incredible people, very smart, um, and, and very analytical, but they have no sense for what it takes to, to actually run an asset. And I really think it is the job of a regional manager, it's the job of a person who's been in operations for a very long bit of time to, to take that relationship and use the mindset of education, right? Of being an educator and educating somebody who is new to the business and helping them understand the dynamics of the daily operations of an asset. When you do that and you do it well, when you, in my head, the two of the most important positions in primary management are asset managers and regional managers. Those two, it's like the quarterback and the wide receiver. It's like the, 
the quarterback and the running back uh, or the quarterback and the tight end. It's those two positions in the organization are the most paramount and the most important in terms of getting the outcomes. So quarterback in the asset management world draws up the play and then the people, be it a running back, whatever the play is designed to be, running back, quarterback, I mean, running back, tight end, wide receiver, executes a play and you achieve an outcome. So my encouragement is before you can start running plays on the field, you got to spend time in the position. You got to, I say it often, you have to, you have to do the reps, but <clears throat> my encouragement is to really spend time at the ground level, understanding the business and growing up in the business before you start uh, calling plays. <laughs> Take care. We'll talk to you again soon.